My name is Rahema Washira and I am a software developer at Andela. I started off uh, working for a telecommunications company uh, in marketing and um, I was able to see from that experience the impact that technology can have on people from mobile money to mobile phones and all of that. Uh, so my plan was to become a product developer um, until I realized that if I work in tech, uh, I can actually do well and do good at the same time. So I was teaching myself how to code initially until I stumbled across Andela, um, applied to the Technical Leadership Fellowship, and uh, here I am. <laughs> We've had people come into Andela from all over the country, not just in Kenya, who don't have degrees, who are coming straight from high school and they've done extremely well. Yeah, of course, I think the fact that people go to university gives them a really great foundation, but there's a good chunk of people who didn't do any of those things and are finding that they're excelling as software developers. And I think that is sort of what the best companies are realizing. It's not about show me your qualifications, it's show me what you can do. I applied to Andela because initially um, I'd been told about the home study curriculum, which is the resource that Andela sends you when you apply to the fellowship. And it was just really interesting, really fascinating, and it helped me learn a lot in a very short period of time. So from the time that I started teaching myself online to the time that I actually applied to Andela was only a couple of months. Um, but the resources that they provided really helped me level up very quickly. I spent the first, I think, around six to seven months um, working really closely with mentors and developers who are more advanced than me to help me understand um, and uh, doing actual hands-on projects where I was actually building products. A big part of the way that Andela works is that all developers also have to do some sort of mentorship. Um, whether it's with folks uh, outside of Andela, and we have lots of programs like that, that were actually started by Andela developers like Teen Code and Tech in Pink that are supporting um, either children who are interested in, in technology or also women as well. And in the process of teaching somebody else, you're also learning more. We are a distributed um, sort of outfit. If you look at your phone today, people are always on WhatsApp video, talking to each other. It is so easy to communicate with people wherever they are in the world today. And this is actually impacting the way people think about work. So our developers are here, but we're always online. And our developers will come in every day, log in, and go on to stand up calls with our partners. And I think that's, that's the future of work, and I'm excited to see how this grows. I get to work from Kenya, um, but working for companies in different parts of the world, uh, which has been really exciting. I think in the growth of a business, one of the things that you keep doing once in a while is you, it's, it's like a dream where you say, you go as far as you can see and as you keep growing, you, you can always see further. And so your plans keep changing. And the influence that you want to have also keeps changing. And when you realize that you can have more impact, um, growing faster is one of the things that is become something you know you have to do. You have to grow faster. And growing faster needs more investment. So that's how we think about like getting into Series Ds. It's really just fuel for our growth plans. And being able to use this, it's, it's a big chunk of what we want to do. that women um, already do appreciate technology. I would say the answer is to hire more women. <laughs> and at Andela, we're doing that. You know, we're 20% female. Um, across, you know, we have over a thousand developers, but we're 20% female, which is pretty amazing considering that the global population is like 7%. So we're already way ahead of the curve and we're still doing a lot more. And even when we go in um, to work with, with kids in schools, just the fact that, you know, they see me and, you know, I'm a woman and I'm saying, hey, I'm a software developer, I work in technology and I really, really enjoy it. Uh, I think that makes a big difference when, when you can see someone who looks like you, then you realize, hey, wait, I can do this as well. Yeah, I think it's really, 
uh, important for more companies to make the, the kinds of efforts that we're making. All the experiences that I've had in different, my different careers, my previous lives, have actually really helped me as a developer. Because at the end of the day, software development is about solving problems. So if you're the type of person who thinks that you'd enjoy that, um, who is determined enough to like, not let go of a problem until you've figured it out, um, and you're willing to use both creativity and logic and a huge amount of empathy, because everything that we build is for a particular audience, it's for a particular person. So if you have all of those skills, then it's absolutely possible. Just you know, start slowly, go online, see all of the different, and importantly, talk to other people who are already in the field understand what a day in the life looks like and you'll be surprised it's not the typical you know person with a hoodie sitting by themselves at a computer all day um, yeah we are all night exactly we do work <laughs> into the night but we're doing it with friends with colleagues and where we get to build really fun stuff